Whoa, it's uh, your local videographer again for the Aloha region. <laughs> and uh, I recently posted a videography of the tour of the Butternut Creek, Butternut Creek School. It's where I went to grade school until the sixth grade. They did not have kindergarten here when I first started, but kindergarten started here when I was in second grade. In Miss Anderson's class, who was on a one year probation, probationary period for her teaching license, I liked her a lot. I thought she was very nice. Uh, yeah. So, while I, after I posted that video, I got some messages from people asking, well, that, who knew me. I said, Dude, Adam, how can you film the school without going to the school creek, you know? Because when you were young and grown up, the creek is what you were all about. So I said, yeah, why didn't I do that? I don't know. But I thought I'd do it now. Um... I did check the area out. Uh, I go there not as often as I used to. I used to go there all the time, even as an adult, because there's so many memories of the area and uh, these fields and the cool antics that my friends and I got up to out here. Heroic antics, <laughs> for the most part. And I'm about to be passed here by someone on a phone call. I'll slow down and let them go. Yeah. So all the houses around here and the apartments around here give me a whole lot of memories. And uh, there are some newer developments that uh, some of the alumni may be interested in seeing. Um, yeah, so let me ex start off while I'm walking down here by saying that about 20 years ago to possibly 28 years ago, or 22 years ago, not 28 years ago, there was an explosion in the beaver population in the area. Um, people my age might remember that we had a few beavers but they didn't do a whole lot of collateral damage at the time but like 20 years ago 22 years ago um the population i don't know where they came from but the population seemed to surge and they cut down so many trees uh in fact the creek area is almost unrecognizable because of it um, to people who grew up there back when I was a kid. Of course, there's been a whole lot of alumni since then who've grown up <laughs> within that time to, you know, become actual legal age since that time. And they probably don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but to anyone my age or older and hasn't been back here for a while since then will be surprised. Um, I, they have divided this field. Now, they didn't really did much of anything with this lower field here, uh, portion of the field, but uh, seeing it fenced off last week was a surprise. And there's also another development going on within that fenced off area, um, which you'll see in just a moment. Yeah. So this is all fenced off. It hasn't been mowed in a while. Although, you can go right in here and mow the damn thing. <laughs> Not that anybody would. Um, there was a guy over that way. That house out there. 
who used to get really super mad if anyone was in around this area saying that he owned this part of the field. And I never knew if that was true or not. But look at this. Look at this. They are developing an extension to the sewer system here. Um, and like I said, I used to come down here pretty often, but this is new to me. And it looks like it's still in development. So I don't know how old this actually is. But anyone who hasn't been here in a few years, that would be new to them. Now, uh, in front of me, this has all grown up quite a bit, hasn't it? Look at this. That has really grown up quite a bit since I was even just a few years ago, honestly. Um, meanwhile, this side path here has also been cleared out a bit to make it easier for dog walking and stuff. And we'll go down there in a little bit. But the reason I brought, well, not just this over here. I brought that for this. Because that's interesting. I also wanted to show you, not only has this stuff grown up quite a bit, quickly. And here is a side path that goes off to that. But you're going to see... Um, something about what I was talking about. But look at this. The trees did not used to be right on the side here for like the longest time. This is all uh, grown up and grown in. There's another side path there. Very nice. And go both back uh, both ways. Here's a nice lady walking her child. This is called my and here's uh, one of the more regular side paths right off the path that sprang up. That's probably been there for like 20 years, close to it. Yeah, it, oh, it definitely has. I remember that. That's been there for a while, but it wasn't when I was a kid. When I went to the school, that path was not here yet. But look at this, look at this. There's this fence because there's just so many chain link fences um, around the school area but also the bridge was replaced a good 20 something years ago and I believe it's been replaced again since then but look at this look at this look at this I have never seen the creek so wide down here. Uh, you can see the old growth. Look how tall some of the trees are compared to the other ones. But you have a lot of this lower growth because the beavers cut down like everything, almost. There are very few standouts. There are a lot of baby ducks, which is very nice right now. In fact, these ducks, this baby duck down here, is quite a bit bigger than the baby ducks I saw just even last week. And this is one family because there's a whole bunch of them. And I think that's some smaller ones over there. The sun is really hitting against the screen of this thing. I don't even know what I'm filming at this point. <laughs> but uh, hopefully I'm not filming myself. But so a lot of the trees were cut down and hauled away by the beavers to form a dam. In fact, when I was here in the winter, um, the water was almost up to the bridge. It was very close to the, uh, the bridge, which was surprising. I'd never really seen that before, but I finally did. So there are some paths here. It was raining recently, so I'm not gonna go down these paths. This path is kind of overgrown. But I knew a whole lot of kids who went down this path as well 
as the path over here because this all used to be just dirt. This was very accessible to walk right down, but now it's just this tiny little path that ends all too abruptly. Because remember, that used to go all the way out like there. And uh, turns into this cement slab down here where you can go under the bridge. If you really want to get under the bridge and see the bats and stuff. The bridge just seems very narrow because of the overgrowth. Um, this canopy never used to be like this. Ever. And there's another uh, useless, uh, what, chain link fence. So, um, yeah. So the creek is overgrown and also torn down. You can see a lot of these trees are down. Uh, even now, look at that. That is a downed tree, I believe, right in front of me. Partially downed tree, anyway, I think. Looks like it. And here's some uh, downed portions of tree. Hey, here's somebody trying to lure ducks off yonder. He's not doing it right. <laughs> it's okay. But uh, yeah, so there's lots of little paths in and around back here. I have to wonder if anybody has gone. Remember there used to be a path that cut through the back of these trees too? I have to wonder if anyone's really gone on that path in a long, long time because it's really heavily overgrown. And this one, uh, this path at least, seems a lot more traveled by. But it's been raining lately, so I'm not going to actually go down there. And there's a, you can see it goes down that way too. A uh, man is walking doggos. And I hear frogs. That's fine. It's just so interesting seeing this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dim doggo. Yeah. So yeah, I thought you guys might want to see that. I don't know. When I was growing up, the creek was a huge part of my life. I didn't particularly like spending time at home uh, very much. Um, so I spent a lot of time in the creek, even when my parents told me not to. It's usually where you could find me. And it wasn't so much this creek, but this creek does join to it. The butter, it, was, it was part of the Butternut Creek that uh, went down by my house. Also, I'm going to walk very quietly over here because I'd love to get a frog on video before it jumps in. And I remember there was one right over here. So I'm going to sneak up very carefully and hope that guy wasn't over here already because <laughs> he might have been. And there's nothing. Okay. There's nothing. There is a lot of um, pollution in the water, but I think this is mostly pollen. There's, a, there's an oil slick up the, uh, well, remember when people my age, there was a large beaver dam up here and around a corner. That beaver dam was uh, destroyed partially like 15 to 20 years ago and allowing the water through. Also, there used to be a farmer up there across the across the uh, stream who owned some land, and the tale was at the time that he would shoot you with uh, salt rock <laughs> if he saw you on his property. I was never shot with salt rock. I was never threatened, but I also didn't go over there very often. I only went over there a handful of times. Now that farmer has sold out, um, they've actually built some apartments over there. Some of the first apartments I lived in 
after moving out from my childhood home, we're over there. The creek still runs through it, um, but it, narrow, it does narrow drastically. But the area where the farmhouse was said to be no longer has the farmhouse on it. And uh, actually, it's very pristine over there. You walk over there, or when I walk over there, now it's like the creek was when I was a kid. It's actually very nice. Brings back a lot of very pleasant memories. I'm going to go down this path. I wish I'd... Uh, I really wish the weather was more dependable. Like I said, it had rained the last few days, so it is kind of muddy and gross out here. I'm also keeping my eyes open for red-winged blackbirds because they will peck my head. There's a little um, side stream over here. And I don't know if there are newts around here anymore. I haven't actually seen newts in a long time. And as well, I have not seen turtles in a long time around here. I've heard people say that sometimes they see them, but I haven't seen any myself in a really, really long time. Probably not since I was in junior high, actually. Um, yeah. Makes me sad. Like seeing the turtles out sunning themselves, but I just haven't seen any in a long time. There's some ducks sunning themselves on the log over there. Are you going to focus on that? I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> See any froggies? There were quite a few frogs here last week. I'm hoping the guy and the dog didn't scare them all off. They will come back up, of course. But I probably won't be here anymore by then. I see some bubbles in the water over there. If one of them had jumped in, that could be it. Or it could just be uh, bubbles coming up from the mud. I don't know. There's something poking out of the water. Right there. It's probably just a branch, but it looks like a... Looks like it could be something else. I don't know. Now, of course, uh, there's more pollen in the water here. So, we don't see the bottom too well. In fact, that looks pretty murky right here. Like a frog did just jump in not too long ago. But it wasn't when I was here. It was before that. I'm going to turn around. We're going to go behind... Uh, these properties up here and I've talked to the people back here who lived over here um, actually that was quite a while ago so I'm probably not the same people anymore I don't know people move more often than they used to these days but when I did talk to the people who lived there at the time they were very nice people very nice people but that was it's been years now. I don't know. Okay. I just don't, yeah, it's crazy. Another stream, I don't know. I don't know. And of course it hasn't it wasn't just the beavers cutting things down. Since I was young, we've had floods, really bad ones that have changed the uh, stream route back where I lived but and of course this was drained once or twice um, for cleaning projects and uh, such oh, somebody's smoking the uh, newest recreational drug in Oregon over here <laughs> yeah. and That's been there forever, just about. 
It's all very pretty. These nice houses. I thought I remembered them having a fence once upon a time, but I could be wrong. This here used to be um, right here. Used to be the dam. It was here for a long time. It was a really big beaver dam. But like I said, um, quite some time ago, it was mostly knocked out, allowing water to uh, spill over. There's the farmer's old property. Looking all nice. And absolutely grown over. See, from this point, it doesn't look like the stream is much wider than it used to be. It definitely is. It definitely is. But uh, it just doesn't seem from this vantage point that it's as much wider than it used to be. Although it totally is. <laughs> And as uh, we can see, the uh, stream has dried out at this point. There is another beaver dam up that way, and there is some more water pooled. Um, so there is some flow happening from time to time. The mud here is uh, mud. There's some footsteps down there. They were also here last week when I came. I'm still not stepping in it. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Um, otherwise, I would go over to the other side and check that out because uh, the water is plentiful over there in that little rotunda. But like I said earlier, they really have done a good job clearing out this area here. Um, and here's some drainage manhole covers um, for the stream so that the uh, stream doesn't actually work its way up in the yard of these people who live back here as often as it used to. Uh, yeah. It's all very nice. It's all very nice. And it is uh, it's definitely a lesson that life goes on, you know. Because even just a few years ago, if even that, I mean, I seem like, I feel like I come over here quite a few times every year. Here's another portion of a beaver dam. And anyone who has seen the beavers around here before totally can see that, uh, well, they're, they're up to their old uh, thing of just bringing any, anything they can find and stacking it up on each other. <laughs> you know, like tires and signs and... Uh, all sorts of things. Historical heirlooms. <laughs> I don't know. And if I was like 100 pounds lighter, I might even try to walk across that. But I'm not. I'm an adult now. <laughs> and I'm very much cautious of falling right there. I've fallen into the creek in my lifetime just a few too many times. I know you guys can't see it probably. But I'm looking out over that water over there on the other side, and it is just, the air is just filled with probably cottonwood, <laughs> which I'm incredibly allergic to. So I'm going to get out of here without walking through the rest of what used to be a path over here that is also heavily overgrown at this point. Although I still do see a path there. I don't know if that's an animal path or just like one person walking their dog regularly, but uh, it's not very wide. And this might be a predator path. I don't know. We do have predators in the area. Coyotes. Also, lots of uh, raccoons. And uh, the possums... I don't see too many of the possums anymore. Mostly raccoons and coyotes now. Okay. That dog is doing a really good job at keeping me away from his yard. He should be very proud of himself. If I were that doggy's owner, I would give that doggy a treat for telling people to go away from his yard. 
I think this right here is very cool. This fire pit. Um, last time I was here, all of these chairs were in the fire pit, but now only one of them is. Now, when I was younger, my friends and I made campfires on the school playground regularly. We toast marshmallows and stuff, you know. But we never did that. We never actually had a fire pit. We were always very safe. There was no chance of a fire catching the building. Oh, we had a hard enough time starting the fire in the first place. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we didn't go over here. There was someone smoking over here earlier. I don't smell it now. And I also don't hear him talking. Let's see. Now, also, you might remember, there always used to be robin eggs and duck eggs in the grasses around here. I haven't seen any today. But, like, this spot right here always used to have robin eggs in the ground, like, right around here. But I don't see any now. But I do hear something moving in the grasses over here. I don't know what it is. But I know this thing moves so slowly, if I want to keep it moving uh, so it's not going to make people throw up I will never catch it on video <laughs> ever there goes a froggy I did not catch it on camera that is too bad there goes another froggy I didn't catch that one on camera either wow they are super duper nervous if they're jumping in my distance here there's some baby ducks following their mama over there and more ducks sunning themselves on logs it is such a nice day it is such a nice day it is so nice that all I'm seeing in the video capture panel is glare <laughs> so I hope I'm actually getting some decent video but uh, yeah this is the school creek very, very wide compared to what it used to be. And lots of trees are gone. There's some old growth. See, there's some old growth right there. It goes way up there. But most of the growth is a lot shorter than that. And that's it. And that's it. Okay. This is nice. I like this. <laughs> mm. Snake? I think there's a snake down there. That's nice. Good to see things living in the area.
Mhm. Wieder. Mhm. 